Hello, my name is Pixelated Twix. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to another episode of Dragon Age Origins. It has been a while. I did get a little bit lazy, you guys. And I want to apologize for that. I was busting out the videos frequently and um, that last hurrah was um, a lot. I can't believe that I actually uploaded a video that was almost two hours long and didn't realize it until I was rendering it and I just went with it. So hope you enjoyed it. Uh, this one might be a little bit shorter. We'll see how I feel. Um, but uh, as you know, after a large, long campaign, we are going to chat it up with us, some of our members, our party, and the newest one, of course, Ogren over here. So um, also there's some dwarves in the camp for the crates. So let's see what they want. They want gems. Oh, uh, do I? Oh, I have those. So those those gems I've been selling, they. Oops. Okay. So those gems I was picking up. And selling. Yeah, those were um. You are good to your troops, warden. Those were uh. Those are valuable. All right, let's talk to Agron. There you are. Wanted to talk to you. What about? You and I, we... You know how sometimes you spend time with people and things. Mm. Ooh. Take your time, what I said. I was thinking, uh, I do know some people out here on the surface. A person, actually. Look at this beady little girl eyes. I knew in Orzammar before I left, obviously. A girl you knew or a girl you knew what oh you mean were we running <laughs> running oh i after bronca left for the deep roads her name's felsey she was a fiery one i'm sure she's forgiven me by now thought maybe i'd track her down see how she's been living wait you cheated on bronca me cheat ah side shrew had left me long before and she cheated on me with that tramp hespeth i grant you i didn't find out about that till after but hey truth is truth anyway she left for the surface a year back and i haven't seen her since why did she leave what why are you asking me i didn't do anything i tried to look her up the last time we were at lake kalanhod she wasn't at work at the inn at home with her sick mother, they mm. said. I figured it was just the ancestors telling me something. But I keep thinking about her. There's something here you're not telling me, Ira. Ah, you suspicious sack of pebbles. You always have to think the worst of someone. Mm. Call it a hunch. And here I thought we were friends. Ah, you whipped out the knife, didn't you? Yeah, Look, I did. Felsey and me. We didn't leave things on the best of terms. I see. And go on. Yeah, she was jealous of Bronca. And she got to be controlling. And mm. Ogren was meant to be free. You Ogren? You know what I mean? Anyway, she couldn't handle everyone wishing they could be with me. So she left. Honest truth. Papa was a rolling stone, I see. Okay. I'll wait to hear her version of this. I will. You go ahead. Yeah. Wait, so we're going? Yeah, we're going. Of course. Uh, we will find this Felsey, I promise. Well, and a good friend you are, Warden. I'll think about you if we ever... Uh, no, actually, that would be gross. No, uh, what was it you wanted to say? Nothing, Agron. I... Um... I'd like to know more about you. What about? Oh, now we're taking the helm off. Um, are you sure you're fine with what happened to Bronca? Oh, sure. I'm fine with it. I mean, she was a real firebrand between the sheets. Oh, okay. But a bit soft in the skull, you know what I mean? Explains why she left anyway. Okay. Um, I imagine she wasn't that crazy when she left. Oh, you don't know her. She was cracked like a glass floor. Oh. Before she was a paragon, I mean. After that, she really fell apart. 
I mean, she leaves me and flits about with that water-tart Hespeth. What's she got that I don't? Just the thought of the two of them together, kissing and licking and... intertwined on the floor of the deep roads. <laughs> yeah, I'm, uh, I'm just gonna go back to the tent for a moment. Uh, excuse me. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Okay. All right. Who's uh? All right. Let's uh. Let's talk to uh, Stan. Why are we stopping? Stan, are we back to that again? Never mind. Let's keep moving. Uh, we're working together. I think I should get to know you. There are dark spawn to be fought. Is this delay needful? No, but. Um. I can trust Stan, so I, I'm not worried about that, per se. Are you all right? You were in the cage for weeks. You are concerned. No need. I am fit enough to fight. Okay. You said you were in the army. I am. You are. Have you ever fought in a war? I have always fought in war, human. So, you must know your way around a battlefield, then? Some of them. They aren't all alike. Mm, good point. Hmm. <clears throat> Excuse me. Well, never mind. Let's keep moving. As you wish. Yeah, he, he's, um, he's uh, not very happy with me asking all these questions. So, let's talk to Shale. Shale of House Kadash. Is that who I once was? Yeah. I find this difficult to believe. Well, you're tall for a dwarf. I am not a dwarf. You were. Or at least, I'm not a dwarf any longer. If I was this shale of House Kadash, as Caridan said, there must be some evidence of my existence remaining. I must find it. Mm, you think something will trigger your memory? I need to know that this is the truth, and not simply believe. What Caridan said, it has allowed me to remember one thing... I believe I know where Kadash Taig is. Oh, so we're going back to the deep roads. Okay, we can go there if you like. Its offer is appreciated. I will mark the location on its map. If we can journey there soon, I am most curious as to what we will find. Shale approves. Okay, we're not going to go back anytime soon, but let's check this quest. Visit Kadash Taig. Traveling to the deep roads has jolted Shale's memories of Kadash Taig. The Golem believes that visiting her former tag may unlock further memories. We do need to go back th down there anyways because I would like to get the full set of um, Agren's gear here. And then there was another, I think there was another quest. Was it? Uh, maybe not. I thought I, okay. I don't know. Okay, let's talk to Morgan. Also, I want to empty out my bags, but I won't. I will do that I off screen. Your command. Hmm. So, life in the wilds must be very lonely. At times, perhaps. A world full of people and buildings and things was all very foreign to me. If I wished companionship, I ran with the wolves and flew with the birds. If I spoke, it was to the trees. Hmm. That sounds wonderful, actually. For a time. But one can only remain a child for so long. I recall the first time I crept beyond the edge of the wilds. I did so in animal form, remaining in the shadows and watching these strange townsfolk from afar. I happened upon a noblewoman by her carriage, adorned in sparkling garments the likes of which I had never before seen. I was dazzled. This, to me, seemed what true wealth and beauty must be. I snuck up behind her and stole a hand mirror from the carriage. It was encrusted in gold and crystalline gemstones, and I hugged it to my chest with delight as I sped back to the wilds. You know, I just noticed something while she's talking. She gets little wrinkles on her forehead. I, I've never noticed that before. I, that's actually really cool. Um, I can't imagine Flemeth was pleased. She was not. No, I thought Flemeth so. Flemeth was furious with me. I was a child and had not yet come into my full power, and I had risked discovery for the sake of a pretty bauble. 
To teach me a lesson, Flemeth took the mirror and smashed it upon mm. the ground. I was heartbroken. <sighs> but you were just a child. And a foolish one. Flemeth was right to break me of my fascination. Beauty and love are fleeting and have no meaning. Survival has meaning. Power has meaning. Without those lessons, I would not be here today, as difficult as they might have been. Hmm. But you don't need to live that way any longer. Do I not? I am still an apostate mage, even if I have left the wilds. The darkspawn are yet undefeated. No, there is much that remains. To return to your original question, perhaps my time in the wilds was indeed lonely. But such was how it had to be. I find myself at times wondering what might have become of the girl with the beautiful golden mirror. But such fantasies have no place in its reality. Hmm. Well, I got six plus six for approval, but that didn't go exactly way, the way I planned it. All right, let's talk to Alistair. Should we talk to Alistair? Let's talk to Liliana. Something I can help with? Mm, what would someone like you be doing in Lotharine's Chantry? Did I ask that already? So what is meant by someone like me? Hmm. Sanctimonious, preachy, like all of the Chantry zealots. Um, um, what? I feel like I've already asked her these questions. They don't teach you how to fight in the cloister, do they? Did you think I was always a cloistered sister? The Chantry provides succor and safe harbor to all who seek it. I chose to stay and become a thund. We affirm our belief in the Maker, in Andraste and the Chant, but other than that, there are no vows taken. Hmm. And why were you seeking safe harbor? The Chantry does not thrive, and you should. I desired time apart from the world. I was a traveling minstrel in Orle. Uh -huh. Tales and songs were my life. I performed, and they rewarded me with applause and coin. And my skill in battle? Well, you pick up different skills when you travel, yes? Yes, of course. Um, let's move on. Yeah, I don't believe her. So, codex updated. Hmm. We do know that Liliana does like the symbols of Andraste, and it says here that Lili Liliana takes care to honor the Lothering Cloister that took her in and keeps symbols of Andraste's blessings close to her heart. I do know there's some, like, mini stories that you could do or um, work through. Um, before I continue, I want to give gifts. Let's see. Search for the true prophet. I don't know who that would... Uh, this would definitely be Liliana. I feel like this would be maybe when this is these two things. Ooh, the runestone. I feel like I know the totem would be Alistair. Runestone, maybe Alistair too? Sten. I don't have anything for him. Um, Liliana, we're going to give her this. Oh, how dear of you. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, gold earrings. Interesting. This. Oh, she didn't like that. What about the silver demon head ring? Interesting. She didn't like that either. Okay, I was wrong about that. All right, Alistair, this has to be you. Oh, thank you. That's very nice. It's not? A simple holy symbol made of etched silver. This is a Liliana. Search for the true prophet. I am getting this completely, completely wrong. This. Oh, marvelous. All right. Black runestone. This better be Alistair. Is that for me? Really? Yeah. Wow. I'm. Wow. You're welcome. All right. New ability, major willpower. Cool. All right. So who do we need to speak to now? When? When? 
How are you doing? Have you encountered many when? abominations, apart from the ones in the Circle Tower? Where have you been? Ah, uh, well, there was Connor. Ah, yes, Connor, of course. The first time I saw an abomination, my blood turned to ice. It was months before the nightmare stopped. It was the knowledge that I could easily become one of them that frightened me the most. Hmm. Seeing that the monster you... Seeing the monster that you could be is unsettling. Yes, it is. One slip. All it takes is yeah. one slip. And everything you are is simply gone. Replaced by madness. And there is no turning back. Or at least that's what they say. Hmm. You have doubts. Of late, I have begun to wonder if... If there is any way an abomination can be... Cured. Or, if a mage could be so possessed and still retain their sanity, their humanity. If one retains one's, hum if one retains one's humanity, one is not an abomination. Yes, it is madness and cruelty that define abominations. If those are lacking, if the mage remembers the person they truly are, then they are not an abomination. I never saw that. Thank you for showing me another way of looking at it. Sure. But I have to say, looking at an abomination makes me wonder if there is um, if there is a way to come back from that. Zevran. What say you? Hmm. Do you stare at everyone like that? Not everyone, but a beautiful woman like yourself. Hey. Why not? Watch yourself. I'm sure you draw many stares from men and even other women. Uh, does this bother you? Uh, not really, no. But you would prefer I desisted, perhaps. It would be difficult traveling as we do in close proximity, but I am nothing if not a gentleman. Uh, I prefer you stopped. Do I? W yeah, because, I mean, I'm... I'm with Alistair, so, yeah, but it, I mean, it doesn't really bother her either because she's not interested, so, but yeah, stop. Your wish is my command. Now that that is out of the way, Ooh. shall we move on? He didn't like with that. With my too. eyes fastened elsewhere, I assure you. Yeah, I didn't think so. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Zevran. I just... Is there anything I can give him? No. Yeah, we screwed that up. All right, Alistair. Something you need, my dear. Um. I'd like to discuss something private. Well, uh, we're in camp. Now's as good a time as any to talk, right? Kiss him. Aha! I see talking isn't quite what you had in mind. Got it. Ooh la la. Alright. Let's see. Let me do this. Let me quickly get rid of some things in my bags and uh, we'll get back on the road. Alright, so I went ahead and um, enchanted some of my gear. Are you sure I can't interest you in this hat? A pair of earrings, perhaps? No. A cheese knife? Mm mm. Let me see where's I'm sure you'll be pleased with the goods my boy and I have collected and with your discount. Right, let me just make sure that I got rid of the things that I'm going to get rid of. Um, some of these things I'm just going to turn in um, and put away because it's taking up a lot of my inventory. Like these things here for sure. Um, so I'm going to go run to, oh, well, we'll just go now. I'm gonna run to Soldier's Peak, put that stuff in the um, storage there. I w kinda wish we had something in the camp rather than having to go to Soldier's Peak. You know, I just feel like that makes sense. Um, who are we gonna take? We're gonna take Ogren because Ogren has a quest, a request. Um, hmm. 
Let's take yes. when. Actually, let's get rid of when. Indeed. Morgan. And <sighs> let's see. I think let's take let's take Severin. Yes. We have use Severin. All right. Um. First, let's go to Soldier's Peak. Please don't let us get stopped because this party. It's not, it's not what it's cracked up to be. I have a feeling we're going to get stopped, though. I still haven't done this. I need to do this. Okay, good. What's up, guys? Some new people. Okay. It's with the dog. Okay. Um, so, okay, we... Take a sword. All right, let's put all this stuff in here. And get rid of the stuff we're not using but don't want to throw away because I'm a hoarder. Um, hmm. Get rid of this. I don't know what these are for so I don't let's put this stuff in here because I don't think I'm going to need them but um I guess that'll work for now. Let's see what you have. Warden. Can I see your wares? Oh, wait. Studded leather boots. Uh huh. Okay. That's it. All right. I thought I had. Let's talk to Levi. What can I do for you, Warden? Uh, any trouble with Avernus? I've not a peep from him. Seems to like keeping to himself. But I keep telling the children to stay away from the tower. Okay. All right, take care of yourself. Certainly. Oh. Oh, cancel. Cancel, cancel, cancel. All right, let's go. That was it. Yes. All right, let's go to where do we need to go? Where is okay? Wait, Callan had I think. Whoa. You're awake. Did you did you feel it too? It was like the archdemon saw us. Saurus! What does that mean? I think... Wait. Did you hear that? Hey. Oh, jeez. I guess it's like Duncan once said. We can sense them, and they can sense us. Oh, they certainly We'd can. We'd best be more careful from now on. Sure. This camp isn't safe any longer. Hush. Will they send next, Darkspawn tax collectors? Mm. The location should be built around the camp. Yeah, I can't get a bloody night's rest. How <laughs> unnerving. It will be more difficult to sleep here now. What, no trap? No ambush? <laughs> Some assassins. It is done. Let us move on. Anybody else? Morgan? Morgan has nothing to say? Maybe maybe you guys should move in closer, you know? Where's Bonan and uh Oh they they left. Okay. I see how it is. They bounced. Okay, no problem. Okay, now. Um Agren. Uh, Zevran. Yes. Morgan. Indeed. Maybe not Morgan. No, Agron. Maybe not. Let's bring Alistair. Yes. Alright, uh, where were we going? Lake Callanhead. Watch us get stopped. I don't have a healer. At all. 
Not one mage in this party. All melee, by the way. This would be horrible. Horrible. Wait a minute. Uh, let's see. Companions. Okay. So, Agrina, yeah, yeah, yeah. Felici, who left for the surface about a year ago. Agrina Felici did not part on good terms. Now that he's on the surface, he wants to, her to look her up to see if she's forgiven him. She lives near Lake Colin Hat. Okay. We are in the right place. Did I do any of the Mage Collective stuff? Good to see you again. Nope, I did not. Okay. There she is. I'm gonna go talk to her. Look, you gotta back me up here. Got it? You want me to be your wingman? She's not a genlock. You can handle her on your own. That's true. Of course. <laughs> Thanks, Warden. Go get her. Just be ready to pry her off Ooh. when she throws herself at me. Maybe I should have talked don't to her. Don't want to make a scene here. Well, don't pry her off me too soon. I mean, a little scene's all right. Are you sure you're not a baker? Because you got a sodding nice set of buns. Aubrey, really? Is that you? Yeah, in the flesh, baby. What are you doing here? Uh, just trying to kick back with a pint. Fighting Darkspawn's a lot of sodding work, you know? You're fighting Darkspawn? She seems very happy to see you, Agren. Really. Um, if you go on getting drunk and wetting yourself fighting... <laughs> okay. Uh, this man took on an army of golems, almost single-handed. It was a bit of pain, but... It was a personal favor for the King of Orzammar, you understand? <laughs> a whole surface to choose from, and you just happened to come to my tavern? Yeah, uh, well... Uh... He was looking for you, actually. Should I say that, or whisper to Agra and tell her it's fate? <sighs> fate or looking for you? I feel like... Maybe looking... Would be a better option. Maybe. You know, I was thinking about our days together back in Orzammar. <laughs> oh, so you mean you didn't find another girl willing to put up with you pissing on the table? I'm shocked. Oh. It's a sign of perfection. <laughs> wow. Uh, whisper, tell her you've been thinking of her. I've been thinking about you, Felsi. What do you want, Ogren? Oh, this is not going Nothing. well. Nothing. Just thought I'd see how you were doing is all. Well, maybe that and grease up the Bronto, if you know what I mean. Uh, <laughs> ah, well, you've seen me. You'll have to go back to Orzammar for the Bronto. Right. Okay. We can't waste time here. The Queen's waiting for us. Admit it, Ogryn is much more fun than the men around here. How about we can't waste time here? The queen's waiting for us. Oh, the queen needed a new fool, did she? Oh, well, it's mm. been fun, Felsi, but I better go. Don't let the door hit you in the arse on the way out. Actually, who am I kidding? Go ahead and let it. Indulge yourself. Okay. Well, I got approval, but um, that didn't go so well. Just take that duster out of here. Okay, sure. Who, then who are you? Yes. I'm sorry to tell you that your husband is dead. A letter from you from the Blackstone Regulators. All right. Let me take a look. I feared this day would come. Okay, that... Okay, the letter must have told... Okay. Sure. Constitution. Strength. Dext. Cunning. More constitution. Cunning. Willpower. Uh, strength. Oh, wait. So he's a ranger and an assassin. Um, not worried about the poisons per se, but go ahead and open these up. Gosh, I have not done anything with him. Lacerate. Feast of the Fallen. Um, Coupe de Gras. 
Okay, can't do that. Combat movement, then coup de grace. What about, what do we have in here? Dual weapon finesse. Okay. What do we got, Alistair? Berserker? Champion? Yeah. Absolutely. I'm not making him a thief. No. Clear. Clear. Requires 16 cunning. Okay. Do we have anything for him? 16 cunning. Now we can add it. Holy smite. Oh, this is part of his Templar stuff. Okay. Mm, sure. Righteous fire. Champion war cry. Rally. All of that. All of it. Every single one of it. Um, okay, he needs more dexed. Motivate. Okay. All right, let's go. Sorry, Agren, it didn't go as planned. I should have spoken to her first, but... Okay, so I think what I want to do... Um... Is... Well, we did this, okay. I think our next stop, then, is Brazilian... Or the caravan? The next stop is camp. Because I'm not going into any place with these guys like this. At this party. But the caravan. Battlefield. The Brazilian outskirts I think would be our next stop. But I think I want to clear out like the caravan and the other things. I don't know why I wouldn't. Um, so I'm going to take Alistair. Yes. I think I'll go ahead and yes. take Zevran and our mage. Yes. You know what? Let's take Sten. Indeed. No, no, no. Let's, let's take Liliana. All right. So let's go. Let's go here. Indes uh, indecisive as heck. But I want to try to mix the parties up. Oh, gosh. These guys. Let's grab some glory. Wow. Quickly, give us a fight. Now we do have a lot of ends. The cunning trap. I shall do it. It shall be done. Done? Oh. No. What's in here? No. I'm going to be careful about what I'm looting. All right. We will take the elf root. Let's see what we got here. We will take the money. We're never going to pass up gold.
Take this. What do you got? You better have something good. Oh, you have gold. I was going to say, you better have something good. Alright, I think that's it. Let's head out and hit up the caravan. And then I think what I'm going to do is cut it off here. A little bit of a shorter video. But it's fine. It's been a long day. Oh, yes, I remember this. <sighs> I fell. Yeah, I could see that. Uh, are you all right? For a moment there, I thought I was... I thought it was all over. You know, for a lady your age, you sure are rocking this little outfit here. You need to rest. That's all. I... I will explain everything when we are back at camp. Now is not the time. Okay, so this is one of those quests that we had already done, you know, back before I, like, lost all the footage. Um, I believe we did this, too. Or maybe not. I don't know. Soldier's Diary. Quest updated. You found the conscripts of Company East Hill dead to a man. Uh, report this unfortunate news to the Chantry Board. So this was a quest. Obviously. Obviously it was a quest. We'll take the... Will we take the... No. Mm. Alright. Oh, we got wolves. Oh, there... Oh, this must have been a battle. Well, yeah. Deserted battlefield. Fix. <laughs> Why can't auto loot be a thing? Very well. Hmm. Go ahead and loot this. Probably gonna. And we got a bar. Oh, there it is. Hello, bear. corpse we'll take that take that as well all right let's go or how do we get out of here this way this way oh oh my gosh picks it's begun all right next thing is the caravan and I think that will be it for the day like I said just want to kind of keep this one a little short um, as it has been a long day so we're just gonna 
I wonder how long this would take by the looks of this map. Maybe a couple of days. Okay. No ambush. We're just... Oh no, get rid of this guy. This one too. He's not taking any damage. <laughs> What's up with Eliana? Why? Oh, she's she's actually using her arrows, you guys, her bows. She is actually staying out of melee range. What the heck did I do differently? I'm proud of her. I'm proud of her. Death root way up there? I don't feel like going to get that. You know, this is pretty lazy. Pretty lazy of me when I don't want to go get the death root. Let's go up there. Picks her plan. Just do it. Be done with it. All right, this is probably the way out anyways. See? Return to path. Oh, this is not the right way. Okay. That's the right way. Hmm. Where are we at? I think I want to get Zevran and take him in the next, um, the next, uh, big quest line. I feel like Severin um, should I hang out. Oh. I owe you an explanation for what happened earlier. Yes, you had me quite worried. You should know that something happened to me at the tower before you came along. Remember my apprentice, Petra. She encountered a demon in the tower. It would have killed her had I not intervened. I saved her life that day. But I did not survive that encounter with the demon. Hmm. But you're standing right here. Let me explain fully. I engaged a very powerful demon to rescue Petra. It sapped me of all my energy and will and left me drained. It took everything I had to defeat it. And when I was done, I no longer had the strength to keep my heart beating. I remember my life ebbing away. Everything receded from me. Sound, light. Her face. I remember being enveloped in complete impenetrable darkness and then I sensed a presence enfolding me and cradling me whispering quietly to me the sensation is impossible to describe I was being held back firmly but gently as a mother would a child eager to slip from her grasp I felt life and warmth flowing through my veins again I began to be aware of small sounds and the discomfort of my hip pressing into the cold stone of the tower floor. Um, that's an amazing story. The Fade contains spirits, both benevolent and malicious. The benevolent spirits seldom make themselves known, because they want nothing from mortals, unlike the demons. It was one of these spirits that saved me. Without it, I would be dead. And it has not left me. It is with me, even now, bonded to me. You see, I am supposed to be dead. It is the spirit that is keeping me in this world. And this is not the way of things. Perhaps the spirit did not expect this, but it is weakening gradually. I am living on borrowed time. Then we will make the best of that time. Yes, that we will. All right, with that, folks, I'm going to go ahead and end it here, and hopefully um, we will, well, no, not hopefully. Um, my plan is to continue on with the next quest, which would be in 
the Brazilian outskirts. And uh, after that, I think that's the last of the um, of the constrictions that we need to do. And then I think the next area would be dinner room. So we're almost there. Been a long journey. It's been a long time. I shouldn't have left you. Okay, I'm gone. I hope you guys have a good night. Good morning. Good afternoon. <laughs> Ciao.